<laughs> Checking out Drew Coase up today, spending some time uh, hanging out with some some kids. Oh. Literal ones at Deer yeah. Meadow Farm. Good morning, Drew. Who are your buddies? I'm uh, just hanging out with some new cool kids. Ah, ah. They're the newborn goats here at Deer Meadow Farms, and uh, baby goats are called kids. And these kids are uh, between one week and three weeks old. There was seven born this season here at Deer Meadow Farms, and they are all adorable, and they are all very excited for the opportunity to meet you, which can happen this Saturday as they're kicking off a brand new season here at Deer Meadow Farms. You can visit the animals, but also pick up some new knowledge like how to milk a goat. To tell us a little bit more about that, I want to reintroduce you to, oh, who, actually, which goat do we got here first of all? This is Ginger. Ginger? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Ginger is uh, very graciously agreed to give us a, a milking demonstration today. So, well, first of all, why would we want to milk a goat? You want to milk a goat if you're lactose intolerant and you can't drink cow's milk. Oh, That's great. That's one of the uses. Excellent and, solution. Uh, you milk a goat also if uh, you want to make cheese, like we're going to do on Saturday. That's I'm right. I'm not promising goat cheddar, but uh, I don't know if we'll get enough milk with all the twins nursing here. So okay, well, but, really but, uh, interesting. Yeah, feta is probably well, goat's milk is probably one of the best feta makers you know around, right? So all right, well, um, let's uh, let's jump right into it. Um, are you ready to go, Ginger? Was it go same? This is Ginger, yeah. All right, so give us a so, little whoops. explanation here of how this works. Well, it's, whoop. She's, what's crop? She's got to cooperate first of all. All right, Ginger, this is your moment. Yeah, this is your moment here. Well, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Ew. This teat's a little bit sensitive because she had a little problem with it. That's why it's so full of milk. But if you just grab the teat and you work your way down from the top of, or from the top of the teat right to the base of the udder. And you just kind of go like that. That seems like you gotta watch those. Hey, careful, oh, oh, careful, careful! See if I can get to you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that but seems she's, like she's got lots of milk because she's come. She comes from a champion milking line, and uh, so her father would have been descended from the top two goats in Canada, number one and number two. Wow! They so actually come from a, a breeder out west in Beulah, Manitoba. Credit to Susan Fraser. Of the, and she's also on the Manitoba Goat, or I think the Canadian Goat Association and all of that. She's pretty high high up there. That's really interesting. So, now, you're also mm -hmm. going to be talking about mm -hmm. hobby farming. In terms of setting up a hobby farm for myself, is a goat a good essential to keep uh, on the premises? Oh, absolutely. Goats are great because they'll eat lots of weeds and grasses and they'll keep, they'll keep all of that stuff down. Um, they'll eat your shrubs if you're not careful, so you have to be careful. <laughs> well, these guys are very smart and clever, and you mentioned that they're also climbers. So sometimes, so part of it, easy maintenance. Part of it, you got to be on your toes, right? Yeah, fencing. You got to have good fences for goats. They're not like sheep. So they'll climb on the fence. They stand on the fence. They put their head through the fence. They're trying to get through the fence. The grass is greener, right? So the goats think that way too. So uh, having a goat gives you some good cheese, some good milk, and uh, some uh, good entertainment. Uh, Vince, thanks a lot for uh, telling us a little bit more about uh, about the goats here at Deer Meadow Farms. You're welcome. Uh, if you want more information about the big uh, plans for this Saturday, just go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, so that you can uh, get connected with the folks here at Deer Meadow Farms and learn a little bit more about the workshops and the cute animals that you can visit with this Saturday. Keep shining, keep